Our tensions appear to have toned down in the Taiwan Strait, but there's no let-up in the war of words. China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi has warned other countries not to follow Washington's lead, while Taipei has rejected Beijing's one country, two systems plan for the island. Few ships, but a standoff nonetheless. No more than 10 Chinese and Taiwanese Navy ships have been spotted close to the median line, a significant reduction from the show of force seen over the past week. Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen says Taipei will not escalate conflict or provoke disputes. And while China claims it has completed its drills in waters around the island, Ms Tsai says the threat of Chinese military force has not decreased following U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit. Beijing reinforcing its claim over the island has reiterated that reunification is unstoppable, a notion that Taiwan continues to reject. China has dismissed the island's protests, saying the Taiwanese government is deceiving themselves and overestimating their ability to resist their return to the motherland. China's foreign minister Wang Yi has also warned other nations not to follow what he called a political performance by the United States in Taiwan. He says Ms. Pelosi's trip was a political provocation and insists Beijing needs to take action to defend its sovereignty. Preparing for a potential attack, Taiwan has held another day of live fire drills in Pingtang involving hundreds of troops.